Okay, let's look at the map. Now, look at this. We, there is a new advisory issued on Asias, and we'll have that for you coming up. And uh, it says here that it's 70 mile per hour winds, but that is going to go up. The pressure is at 993 MB. It's moving. At, it's moving north northeast at 16 miles per hour, and the location is 115 miles south of Charleston, South Carolina. And now we're going to the map right now. Raleigh and Wilmington, both in North Carolina. Charleston in South Carolina. You got Savannah in Georgia. And, we, and you got Jacksonville and Daytona Beach. Both of them in Florida. And now we're going to take you to the uh, what the new what the advisory is. And as you can see, it's it's going downward. As you can, and it's going. And now here are the more here are the water vapor. Here it is. There's Washington way up on top. Washington way up on top. And there's Raleigh. And there's Charleston. And there's Jacksonville. Right there. Right there. As you can see right there. That is exactly where Asias is heading. And this area here. Between Washington and Jacksonville. Charleston is going to get the worst of it, they're saying, and and it's and it's going to be a bad, bad storm, as we know at this point. It is the it is a very bad storm. Now take a look at this. Now take a look at this. Here's Nashville. And you go straight down past Tennessee, past Ohio, and right about to where uh, Atlanta, Georgia is, and where Montgomery, Alabama is. It shows right there in the middle that Charleston is getting the worst of it as we speak right now. And as we know right now it does not look like it's going to be letting up anytime soon and as you can see right there it, towards the water it's going to come up from the water it's going to go into Tampa and into Jacksonville and into Daytona so the question is how much longer are people going to have to put up with a science? So the question is how much longer are people going to have to put up with a science? Well the map is, is proving it, it's going to go through Ohio, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina, South Carolina, and of course, Florida. And as you, as you can see right up there, that is where my friend Jopa lives in Philadelphia. And I have a, I have a funny feeling that it is going to go right into Philadelphia. But we do not know if it is going to go into Philadelphia. We do not know at this point. So, so far, we got 
Maryland, Washington, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, South Carolina, and all in this area here, that is where it's going. Right now, it shows right now that Charleston is clear, but that is not the case. For right now, this was last hour at one o'clock our time. This is that is this is not the case right now. And as you can see, that it is not going anywhere. Now take a look at that. Now look at this. Now take a look at that. You got Knoxville, Tennessee, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, Macon, Georgia, Augusta, Georgia, Columbia, South Carol South Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina, Greenville, North Car Greenville, South Carolina. Raleigh, North, North Carolina, and working its way down the map, you got Wilmington, North Carolina, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, and Savannah, Georgia, and Albany, New York, right over there in the corner. And as you can see, that is where it's going to hit the most tonight. I'm telling you guys right now that this is going to become a hurricane tonight for those for, for the for the cities that I, I mentioned. So we're looking at 4:45 Eastern time, which is 1:45 our time, and um, and as you can see it goes from 1:45 our time. Make that 1.15 or 1 o'clock our time. Goes all the way to 2 o'clock our time. 34 minutes ago. And now, these are the active, active, active watches. This In the red, you got Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, and Georgetown. Those are in the red. That means those, those three I just announced. Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, and of course, Georgetown. Those three are, are in the act of watches right now. And right now, and as I, as you, if you're just joining me right now, uh, we are following breaking news right now. There has been a new advisory issued on Asias. It might, it is going to become a hurricane later tonight. And it's going to make flooding, damage, you name it. It's going to happen tonight. So it looks like we got our hands full on this story. And Fresno News Plus. We'll have it for you. And now I'm going to talk about this. between this area, between Myrtle Beach and Wilmington, that is where it's going to hit the most. But right now, we're looking at wind speeds right now. Right now, it's Savannah's at 14 miles per hour. Beaufort is at 17 miles per hour. Boy is at 29 miles per hour. And Fernand. Fernandina Beach is at 7 miles per hour. So is Brunswick. So those are the two. What? Fernandina. I couldn't pronounce it right, so I had to sound it out. Then. 
ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't pronounce that one right, so I had to send it out. All right, what's up? What are you doing? Now look at that. The only place that's calm right now is King Street. That's the only place that's calm right now, but the rest all have high winds. As you can see right now. Now let's see what let's see what they have to say about this now. About Asias becoming a hurricane. It looks like the winds are picking up in Charleston. So that means, and you know what that means? Asias is on its way. Yep. Tonight, we got 30, per, 30 plus gusts for tonight, for today, and for tonight, and for tonight. It goes up to 40, and it, and, it, and it would rain one to two inches of rain. So that means uh, what did it say? Yeah, one to two inches of rain, and the next thing was 50 million are under a flood watch. <laughs> Land expect along the coastal Carolinas. ISIS is is forecast to be a hurricane at landfall. Oh, that's not good. This is not good, you guys. Heavy rain and all that stuff. Rain was spread across the Carolinas, increasing the inline flood threat. ISIS is forecast to be a hurricane at landfall. Landfall is expected along the coastal Carolinas. And as you can see right now, that it looks like it's going to go all, and, and, and the answer is yes, it is going to hit Philadelphia. If so, I don't know how much longer we can handle something like this. Uh, but... If it would have been here in California, it would have been a whole different story. But it's not in California. It's in the Carolinas going up into cities like Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville, Charleston, um, and Raleigh, and Raleigh, North Carolina. Jacksonville, Florida, Charleston, South Carolina, and Raleigh, North Carolina. I am going to look up the uh, Raleigh, one of the Raleigh channels I got on my phone, and I will update you guys as soon as I get more information. Once again, Asias is going to become a hurricane at landfall. Landfall expected a lower expected uh, along the coastal Carolinas. Asias is just, it, heavy rain, strong winds, and some flooding. And people are already without power at this time. So stay with Fresno News Plus as we continue to cover Asias. Have a great afternoon.